Where's the seat of power for you? I'm planning a trip back to Washington, D.C. next summer with my kids. It's, it's often considered the, the seat of power of our country. Um, and I think that's such an interesting phrase because it implies that there is no power anywhere else. Like the seat of power, that's where everything happens. I look in our state, Washington State, that in the last few years has taken the lead in a number of different areas, in culture, in politics, in international relations. And it occurs to me that the seat of power only exists somewhere other than in you if you let it. My question for you is today, and especially given that we're about to look into 2016, is where does the seat of power for you live? Where's the seat of power in your work? Is it with you? Is it with your boss, your partner, your clients? Where's the seat of power in your relationship? Is it your spouse? Is it a shared seat of power? Is it with you? Where's the seat of power with your health and well-being? Is it what's available? Is it what's convenient? Is it what's cheap? Is it what you choose? What if 2016 was the year that you took the seat of power in your life? If you did, what would be different at the end of 2016 than it is in 2015? 2016 is going to be an extraordinary year. It's the year that everything changes. 2015 was an extraordinary year for me in that way, and it will be again in 2016. Where does the seat of power lie for you? And what would it look like if you held it in all areas of your life? Have a great new year. I can't wait to talk to you next year. Take care. Talk to you soon.